Good morning, boys and squirrels, and welcome back to day two of the armor journey. The quest to find the 16 armor sets. Here we are, finishing up our... Ooh, get out of the hole. Oh, shit, pickle. Oh, shit, pickle. <laughs> there we go. I'm just finishing up this dig quest. I went ahead and started a little early. Out of stamina. Take that, bitch. And you. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, yeah. Use two charred meat. So, yep, we have to do that. We got to drink from this water. But what I'll do first is we'll go and... What the hell? Oh, he's got a hoodie on. What we'll do is we'll turn in this first quest. See what we have quest-wise for the rest of the day. And that'll kind of determine what we want to do. Smells like dysentery you think you're pretty smart now don't you okay buy more medical supplies and loot that's not a bad one to have vegetable stew's really good the cobblestone rocks try the veggie stew honestly oh shit nah the veggie stew because it also does water bacon and eggs seems like they got buffed a little bit but maybe they didn't Ooh, oh, close who's tired of eating out of dump word of advice next time but you got money this time, or you just okay. piss me off. You can have that. Hey. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Can't stand that guy. Lucky here. Heritat skull crushers, eye candy, jailbreakers. That's what we probably need to buy. But I say we wait until we actually find something we could use it on. A mega crush would be really, really good to have. But then again, we're trying to save up our money to buy those damn. Pieces of armor. Now, one of my quests was... Okay, we're good. There's a drink from a water source. I was just worried we were going to get the fucking mud butt. But it seems like we're good. I'm excited. I feel like our first piece of armor is definitely coming today. Besides the primitive armor. As I kind of mentioned in the last episode, like... It doesn't do anything, and it starts us out on the right foot, so might as well just craft that shit. But the rest cannot be crafted. Skip it a pap! Okay. Dude, look at us. We're assassins. Okay. On over here, big dog. All right, that's what we need. Okay, that's a good one. I uh, will eat this, and we're good there. I don't want to do anything here. I don't want to spend too much time looting these things, but we definitely want to make sure we're not missing this kind of stuff, you know? Okay. Handyland, repair tool, and we'll sell this one. Handyland again. Let's grab them for fun. That being said, let's look at this really quick. So we can redeem this. 200 experience, 200 experience. There we go, there we go, there we go. So all we need to do now is play storage containers, which we'll do that when we go back to base. And craft spike trap. And upgrade to cobblestone. We can do all those today. We'll knock that tier out as well. There's another armor one. That's good. It's weird to think the armor is like my go-to shit now.
Dude, is that a... I don't want to wake him up. Get off me. What all? Ah, shit, he woke up. Alright. Yep, this is why I did that. Oh, shit, that hurt. This bastard. Alright, difficulty's too hard. <laughs> Shit's sake. Okay, let's go grab this. Um... Holy hell, it's over there somewhere? Okay. Bar brawling blood. Drinking beer no longer blurs your vision. Uh, usually I just sell that shit. Because we most likely aren't going to use something like that. But dude, the beer one could come in handy. With it not being able to blur our vision. That'd be nice. Now one thing I'm going to... Oh, eat that. There, now we're done with the charred meat one. One thing I definitely want to do, probably after this episode, is start... Oh, we could have went that way. Is start, like, a little, like, journal. A real journal. Of all the... Armor sets. So when we start getting them, we can start marking that shit off so it's not too complicated. It blows our mind, I could have literally started the quest, ran over here, not touched anything, and just did it. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to pay you now that you did it. Okay. And honestly, we're doing actually pretty damn good on food and water. Do I go like the sniper book? No, I think I just stack up on cornbread since I already have it in my inventory. Okay, let's go ahead and do the fetch. If you want a job for Sparks me, Place? What's the other one? I don't know what Sparks Place is, so maybe we do that one. Dirty. Well, come to think of, well, don't just stand there with Dude, shut shop, the fuck up. This guy just never you shuts follow, up. Or you fuck off. No, you fuck off. What all? You cheap ass son of a bitch. That's all you're gonna buy? You got money this time. Okay, this is another thing I want to look off. at. What would be the most beneficial one to buy once we get it? Preacher's outfit is gonna give us undead damage resist, which isn't bad. Karen capacity, that could be decent right off the bat. Stamina Regan running, that one might be very good. Reduced melee stamina, that one would be really good. Crop harvest bonus, no. And then minor outfit, mining tool stamina cost. Uh, some days I don't even so my, my I thought, and we need to put our points in, but if we look at this, armor. So it goes light armor. This may be the way to look at it also, is we want to buy, say, the light armor first. Because that one in the turn, like, in the future, could be one we could upgrade. Well, good morning, boys and squirrels. Post that venom here. And just wanted to jump in and say, I go on a giant tangent here about how light armor would be the best. Because once we get to 11 and after that, we could actually upgrade said armor when we get it. Say we get the preacher's outfit. We could upgrade that if we bought it at a level 1 to, like, say, a level 2 or 3 or 4. But looking at this now, you see that the medium armor and heavy armor is also unlocked at 11. So it looks like they're all the same, actually. And it's not actually tiered at all from light, medium to heavy. So we can honestly buy whatever we want. But I wanted to come in here and clarify that. Love you guys. Let's put our points in really quick. So we want to go here, here. And we'll go... Actually, we'll go here. Because that'll let us get Daring Adventure 2. We can probably put more points in our stun baton. We can do it all now. This is pretty damn nifty. I'm back in base, so I'll show you really quick what I did. Upgraded the entire outside. 
it comes up here, you know. We have doors here, but then we also have like a door hatch. And then just went all the way around. I ran out of wood, so that's as far as I got. But that being said, I'm also on the nights working on breaking this thing out to make it a little bit bigger. But for now, this is going to have to do. I'm going to... I'm going to have to wait on putting some of these down, actually. Shit. But that gives us the storage one done. And then if we do... There's a cobblestone done. Now we just need to... Let's get rid of some of these. And build uh, spikes. That, uh... I don't know. We'll fix that eventually, but I wanted to put them right here so they couldn't get in, you know. Or it gives us an idea of when they're coming in. But here we go. These, we've done all these, so what do we get for this? Um, I don't know if we got anything special. Oh, shit, there's a whole bunch of, damn, a whole bunch of stuff. This is cool. I kind of thought we would get something. I think we just got experience. But that being said, let's go ahead and head toward our quest. Because we want to knock this one out. At least the other fetch and maybe one more. I'd love to, by day three, be ready to move if we want. Or head toward Jin at least. Yeah, here's the Spark Residence. I didn't know this is what this place is called. Definitely know this place. Now, I will say... I'm assuming it's coming a little later, maybe when the console version drops, but I have not seen any new POIs as mentioned, you know. Well, it's on the bottom here, so let's just kill this guy. Then we're going to come in here. Housekeeping? Whoa. I like your green shirt. <laughs> Shit's sake, man. Got a stamina of a guppy. So we want to go in here, and it's right here. Oh. Okay. Hey, anything else in here? I need to really be checking the nightstands and shit like that. I think we may be a little too low loot stage to be finding it, but this is where it'd be is shit like this, you know? This? The luggage? It'd be really cool just to find one. Oh, there's a cooking pot. Yay! Man, I might have to get a damn helmet light mod for you all. I mean, it would be on this level one, but it's dark as all ass. So we might have to... I might do that for you all. Especially if we're gonna have... Oh, shit. Dog. Right? No dog. No dog. Sit down! Stand up. Dude, swing it! Back, back. And swing it! Dead. Okay? Get down here. Dude, they make some weird-ass noises now. They, like, piss blood for a little while, you know? And it's like, pssss. Okay. Only when they break, though, I guess. Okay, that's what we want. Robotic crafting. Pipe baton quality, too. Need that to keep going up because this thing fucking sucks. Damn, I was hoping this would have something. It does not. Okay. Pipe bombs. We need those. We need to make those. Ooh, 
there we go. Athletic hat. Our first one, baby. Fitness item buying? Huh. Okay, so we can just scrap. No, we'll keep it. We'll keep it in its own, like, box. So we can keep track of it. But that kind of... I'm happy to get one. I said I had a feeling we are going to get one, but... That one seems pretty worthless. But maybe I'm wrong, you know? Okay. Can we pop down here casually without getting our ass beat by this guy? Surprise. Now he's pee peeing blood everywhere. Gross. Well, everything okay. for sale. Even to an idiot like you. This guy. Craft fireman's axe. No, the glue could be useful. Because we know duct tape's harder to come by at the beginning. I think that's the way to go. Oh, shit. Uh, that was five. Armored up may be the way to go. Yeah, I think I want to keep going armored up. Got just the job. Good luck. Better not so is that just like a good work kind of thing? Well, we're on number seven. Dude, we're getting close. Let's learn this shit. This, this, this. We'll put this on. I mean. Yep, that'll do. Man, fitness item buying. I don't know what I'd want to buy, but. Fortunately, you I know, think I'm going to have to. You don't buy something next time. I'll shoot you. I think we go into pipe batons one more time. Then maybe with our next point, we go better Look barter quick. once. Buy quicker, piss off fastest. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's such an angry guy. Do this, and we'll sell this. And this. I don't think we need this anymore. Now that you can just automatically write on him. Let's do... Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Okay. Let's haul ass over there. How much money we got now? Dude, 2300 after this next quest. We're probably going to be there. But let's haul ass over here. We'll knock this quest out and see where we stand for the day. Because we could probably do one more even after this. Yep. This is what I'm thinking. We'll live up here. How's this look? Uh, doesn't sit flush. We could make it work, though. Okay, here's a fetch. We may just go... And get the thing. I found this. Power attacks increase knocking down power. I think this is only with clubs and shit like that. But it's always one of those ones since it says that. I go ahead and learn it. Even if I'm not using clubs. Another armored up book dude. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Yum. Wow. Uh, explosives. Okay. Just in here. Right here. This is where we're going, then. Fuck off, Gumby. Dude, we could be in and out, just like that. But I think we head upstairs really quick. Go check that loot. Just say we... Smack! We're stronger a little bit. I mean, you can definitely tell stamina-wise. The second point is making a hell of a difference. Yeah, dude, I need to get you all damn helmet light mod. Whoa. Oh, fluff. You made it in? Everybody knows this is like my worst enemy. It takes like 19 hits to kill these guys. Okay, let me do that really quick. Alright, just like that. Hopefully you all can see a little bit better now. 
And then if we ever find one, we'll just drop it, technically. Okay. Pipe baton level three. Once it gets a little stronger, we're definitely going to have to look into that. Hmm. This one do sprinting power attacks have a chance of knocking down your opponent? Sure. Sell that one. Let's do. Okay. This place is cleared, besides the basement, you know. That's okay. We can make use of the time and probably knock out one more damn quest. Dude, we are flying through quests. Oh, no. What fuck you doing down there, bud? Well, I might have found my first little bug. I ran in here, I dropped into the floor, and he fell into the floor. Lock but, as long as he's still place. here, I, I think we're good to keep going. Let's do this one. Pals. Got it. Yeah, whatever. You're zombies. Come to think of it, I do have a t uh, Let's get one thing straight. You're not working. You know the drill, asshole. Shut up, bitch. How much money we got? 24. We got nothing for that. Let's, uh, sell this. Wow, that's pretty much it. Sell those just to make a little bit more room. Uh, that for now. Okay. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. Dude. Great books. Great books. For what I'm doing. Primitive armor quality five. Okay. Let me run over here. This will probably be our last quest of the night. As long as we haul ass and get to it. Okay. Batter up book. Learn to craft metal chain mod. We'll probably just sell that one. Improves armor crafting. We're already at tier 6 of that shit. But I'm not going to craft any better primitive armor since we just crafted that shit to begin with. We technically didn't find it. Let's do this. We'll take these because we can sell them. Um, we got to kill everybody here. Is there going to be a dog back here? I feel like there was at one point and then he went away. Okay, he's gone. Alright, we're going in. Zombie? What the? Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is paid for. Now, finding this, I don't know if I'm going to need to keep this because there's a new thing called armor crafting kit. What's that do? Forging armor, forging hope, one piece at a time. You can use to craft light, medium. So we're going to need that shit to make better armor once we find the armor. Come on, Big Mama. Not Big Mama. Dude. They just eat that shit nowadays. They're like, yeah, don't care. Yes. And we want all that. That's good shit. There we go. Preacher gloves. Dude, those are the ones. Those are the ones we want. Undead damage. Look at that. 
So we do 10% more damage to undead already. How do I just fucking wear them nowadays? So keep that, unfortunately. Grab the rest, hit this really quick, and then haul ass. So now it would be badass to get a little bit more points in that and be able to upgrade those. Craft AP turret ammo and haul ass back so we can get there before nighttime. Damn it, well, wrecked, get I out of the ground. To pay you now that you did it. Um, let's do this again. And we'll do the buried supplies for tomorrow, and will that be the last one? No, maybe, maybe. Let's uh, let's head back to base, and we'll get everything sorted out, and call it an episode. All right, boys and squirrels, here we are for the night of day two. Well, day three now. But we had a great episode. We found two pieces of armor, which, arguably, we found the best. To me, armor, like, slot in the game. Like, the Preacher's Gloves, I talked about them last episode. I think this might be maybe the best piece of armor in the game. Just because once it's maxed, I think it does either 50 or 60% damage, you know. Which is massive to undead. J just for one slot, you know, by itself. And then we also found the athletic hat, which doesn't really do anything for us, but really nice find. So we got six to 64 because we're counting these as well. We'll get this all set up. Molly D armor set. So every time we find something, they'll be in little cubes of four. So at body gloves, shoes. That'll be the thought, you know, which we'll have to make these bigger. But the cool thing now, I don't have any iron, but all you got to do is you just straight us upgrade them. Or just straight up upgrade them, which is badass. It's going to be nice. We got Survival Geeks Crafting. Just coming along. Ryan's Cars and Mods. Life is Beautiful Meds. Of course, the meds for Life is Beautiful is a lot. And here's Spoo Special Food and Drinks. Alan Knittles. I think I'm saying that right now. Alan Knittles Farming. This will get bigger. And if the series goes on quite a bit, which I don't think this is going to be a very fast series then this could be something we focus on after getting done with intellect. Little Taz's tradables, not much there. Lori's PPUs will eventually grow, <laughs> but right now I feel like I can't put anything down because I barely have anything. But we're in a really good spot. Tomorrow we will knock out the dig quest first thing. When that's done, as we put one point in a better bar, as that's done, I think we may be going to Jen. We may have to do one more. I'm not positive just yet. But that's the only reason I'm not going to Hamtaro on upgrading this damn base. Because I don't want to upgrade the shit out of it. Then we move to Jin. And we decide we want to live somewhere over there because it's way better set up than this town. This is kind of one of those like shitty littler towns if that makes sense. So I don't know if we want this to be home. Even though I like the setup. I like that bridge of the possibility of turning that into something. We could turn this into something and fight them from this ladder. We could do a whole bunch of shit, but I'm really excited for this series. Hopefully you guys are too. By the time like you see this, I've probably filmed like three or four, probably three episodes. So if, if you make a good suggestion or some shit like that, but you don't see it in the first couple of episodes, that's why. But thank you guys so much for the support. As always, it means so much. I want to give a special shout out to YouTube and Patreon members. You guys are absolute legends. If you want to donate, the link's below. Never necessary, but always appreciate it. And then lastly, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.